Hey guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell from the title, I have my first ever box from Shelf Love Crate. I am so excited. I have been wanting to try this box out for a while and I'm so glad that I was able to get it this month because the theme of the box is sci-fi takeover and I have really been wanting to get back into reading sci-fi books. So I'm so excited that there's going to be a sci-fi book in here. But for those who don't know, this is a book box subscription. I had actually planned on battling this in one of my book box battle videos, but I decided to do Fairy Loot, Owl Crate, and Litter Crate together, which left poor little Shelf Love Crate all by its lonesome, so it gets its own video. But yeah, I just want to go ahead and get right to it. So that is what we're going to be doing. If you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Sneak peek. Right on top, I'm assuming this is like their pamphlet thing, so we'll save that for last. Oh, and the first item is a pop socket. Oh, this is so cute. It says, Ignite My Love Ignite. Oh, I love the colors on this. This is so pretty. I'm not sure what book this is from, but yeah, I still really like this. It's so pretty, and you can never have too many pop sockets, so I'm a fan. And next we have... Oh, you guys! It is a pin banner. Oh, this is awesome. And it says, Oh My Stars. I love the design and colors of this. This is so pretty. I absolutely love pin banners. And you guys know I love pins, so it'll definitely be used. Oh, so far, you guys, I am loving this box. Next, we have a headband. Hold on. It is a headband. Oh, what does it say? <laughs> Red Rising Headband Cotton Poly Blend. Y'all, this is so pretty. The designs on here. Again, I've not read that book, but this is so pretty. I actually never wear headbands because I think they look so bad on me and I can never get them to like stay in place. So I'll actually probably give this to Bella. She's only two, but I still think she'll like it. <laughs> Next we have, oh, it's a pillowcase. Hold on, let me get it out of the plastic. Every item is wrapped in plastic. And it says, every story needs its hero and its villain and its monster. Ooh, I love the colors. This is so pretty. It's kind of that canvas material. Um, so it's not very soft. It's not my favorite material, but the design is so pretty and colorful. I still really like it. And next, oh, it is their chess pieces. So apparently Shelf Love Crate um, is doing monthly chess pieces based off different characters. Let me take these out. So these are the chess pieces this month. So apparently these are... Katie Grant and Ezra Mason pieces from the Illuminae files. Again, I have not read that, but I really like these. These are so cute. I love her pink hair. I've always wanted pink hair, but probably couldn't pull it off. <laughs> this will be the beginning of my chess piece collection. And next we have a notepad. Hold on, let me get it out of the plastic. I really don't think every single one of these items needed to be wrapped in plastic. That seems like such a waste. But this is the notepad. It says, people need stories, child. They bring us hope, and that hope is real. I know this is based off Skyward, and that was actually my only sci-fi read last year, and it was so, so good. I'm so ready for the sequel. I think it comes out this year, August maybe? I'm not quite sure. But I love notepads, and I love the design of this. This is so pretty. And finally, we are to the book. Let me get it out. A lot of plastic and it came with a bookmark that is so pretty and on the back it has shelf love crate theme art by Kat Adara Adara I butcher names sorry and we have a little thing here that says admit one welcome to the kingdom where happily ever after isn't just a promise but a rule Ooh. so yeah that's the back and guys this is the book it's The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg. Ooh, look at that cover. 
It sparkles. This is definitely sci-fi. I'm loving the robot vibe and I love the purple. This is so pretty. It is signed by the author. Let's see what it looks like without. So it's just blue with silver on the spine, but it looks like we have a reversible dust jacket. Oh my gosh. So this is giving me kind of like fairy tale vibes. Oh, this is so pretty. I didn't know that we were gonna get a reversible dust jacket. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read the description real fast. Glimmering like a jewel behind its gateway, the kingdom is an immersive fantasy theme park where guests soar on virtual dragons, castles loom like giants, and bioengineered species formerly extinct roam free. It is also home to the fantasists, seven beautiful android hybrid princesses whose sole purpose is to make dreams come true. As one of the most favored fantasists, Anna adores her life at the park. But when she meets Owen, Anna begins to experience emotions beyond her programming, including for the first time love but the fairy tale takes a dark turn when Owen goes missing and is presumed dead all evidence points to Anna she is accused of Owen's murder igniting the trial of the century through courtroom testimony interviews and Anna's own memories emerged a wholly original often shocking tale of love lies in the frightening truth that fuels our wildest fantasies whoa that sounds amazing Wow, I'm so excited to read this. So guys, that was everything from Shelf Love Crate. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at their little pamphlet. So it has like an interview with the author and then it tells us all of the items. Oh, and so they also have a photo challenge and July's theme is game on. Ooh, it says get ready to catch the snitch, fight to survive and find the hidden Easter eggs Fandom includes Harry Potter, Warcross, The Hunger Games, An Ember in the Ashes, Ready Player One, and then one item will feature 18 fandoms. Oh my gosh. Oh, Harry Potter, of course, but I love Ready Player One. Um, the movie, I haven't read the book, but the movie is amazing. And An Ember in the Ashes, I just finished that this month and it was so good. I really want to go ahead and buy the next book. I'm waiting to get paid. Um, but yeah, that is such a good, oh, I am so excited, you guys. That sounds so good. Next month's box will be in a book box battle video. I haven't decided which box it will battle. Maybe Litger Crate since I wasn't able to do that this month. But you guys let me know which box do you want to see it battled against. So guys, that was June's box from Shelf Love Crate. As always, you guys will have to let me know what you think. What was your favorite item, least favorite? Wow. Definitely for me, the pin banner and the notepad and pop socket were my favorites. I didn't really have a least favorite. Um, maybe the headband just because I don't wear them. Um, but I know my daughter is going to love this. So I, I'm not mad about this at all. So yeah, it was such a good box. I'm, I'm very happy with my first ever box from Shelf Love Crate. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>